majority of Edo state people still stand to the truth to say Oshomale is God's saint leader. We are still enjoying his road, schools, he built, and other facilities. Whether you are a supporter or a psychophant of a betrayer, you will later cry the cry of every other politician. Greetings once again is another week to be hopeful and also to be thankful to all my amazing subscribers. The reality is sometimes you lose and you are never too good to lose. You are never too big to lose. You are never too smart to lose. It happens and that is life. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this interview, Kruso Osage, Chief Press Secretary to Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State, tells Step Off Francis Onori Bolo, spoke about the efforts of the governor in tackling insecurity in Edo State his relationship with Oshomale, among others. Governor Obaseki is an astute finance manager. He has been an investment banker for years. The real problem is that Nigeria is in crisis. Six years ago, you will hear governors talking about VAT, VAT. You know how much is coming from VAT and stamp duties recently i saw it on television oh stamp duties there is money there we need to check it it is just a sign that there is chaos in the country and that we are low on revenue inflow into the country and various states just like in any family once you run out of money you will start checking your pockets that is what is happening now People are not checking places they never used to check before. It is a sign that there is a problem. The good thing is that Obaseki envisaged this a long time ago. As a matter of fact, that is what led to most of the political battles he fought in his first term because being an investment banker, the edge he has is the capacity to make projections investment banking is about projections you are supposed to be able to know what commodities and stocks will do well let's say in five or six years time i should buy it now and wait for it to grow that skill and experience the governor has prepared him for this job right from when he took over as governor in the first year he had done the projections and shared it with us and made us realize that so he started tightening his bet even when all these other governors were still gallivanting and trained jamborees that is why we were fighting his predecessor adams oshomale he said to him sorry we can't share money we have sufficiently cut down waste we have trained the machinery of government to a very lean instrument which can run well. So we are not under that kind of pressure like everybody else because we have trained ourselves. We have prepared ourselves. That is why you don't hear, oh, salary is delayed. The salary to be paid till this governor's administration ends has been lined out. He has calculated how he wants to pay salaries till he leaves office. The governor has gone way ahead of that. He first trimmed his art flow and then diversified his inflow, grants and resources from DFIS, Development Finance Institutions, have been flowing in. We have fine-tuned our processes to be able to attract good grants and development financing from the World Bank and several other international monetary institutions. So we get funding from there. 
we have also worked on our revenue generation capacity in the state. That is why we set up the Edo GIS. Now, you just don't go and buy land anyhow. To get land, we have a GIS system in the state that maps out the land. After you buy it, you register it within one month to get your seal and make payments to the government. As for security, as far as security is concerned, this government has also not been sleeping. We don't always want to go into all the details of what we have done with regards to security because you can't tip off the people you are trying to bring down. But I want to let you know, and for people living in Edo State, you know that a lot of work has been done in this area. First, we have a very organized vigilante system called Edo Security Network. These people have been profiled. On open grazing, number one, the governor does not subscribe to st stampeding. He does not like to be stampeded into anything. He takes his time to do things and he thinks through everything before he does it. The Edo State government supported that decision by the Southern governors to pass the motion. So we are on board as we speak. But we also have domestic issues. The House of Assembly, for example, has been on break. They have just started sitting, so that is one of the constraints. But beyond that, we are more interested in being able to enforce it than just signing a law. For his relationship with Oshomale, I think the governor has said repeatedly that the difference he has with Oshomale is not personal. It is just a difference of ideas on how to govern the people and how to work for the people. He, Oshomale, has one type of idea and the governor's own is different. The governor believes that the people should lead, that the people are the ones who should be the first beneficiaries of whatever government has to offer. I don't think there is anything personally wrong with the relationship between Obaseki and Oshomale today. The issue that they share completely different political ideas and ideologies, and that is where their differences is. Obaseki came into work for Oshomale as an economic advisor not in any political capacity whatsoever. So, Obaseke was determining things that have to do with revenue flow, things that have to do with how to get funds flowing from the DFIS and working at how to raise funds for projects in the states. It was not involved in how the fund was disbursed and in which way the politicians were satiated. Oshomale did not push him to become governor. That is not correct. Oshomale supported his candidacy, but he took the decision to run being a man of his own. And having decided to run, he must have decided how he wants to run the government once he wins, which is why he fought because the time Oshomale was trying to force him to govern the way he wanted, he refused and said, Sorry, I took the decision myself to run for governorship. I have won and I will decide according to my conscience. Please give this video a thumbs up and please hit on the notification button for more updates. I remain your number one news plot. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.